Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. It's Sunday morning. I've left out of bed way too early after a gig and I thought, why not play some triplets? So I'm working from page 77 of the Practice Pad book. Now there's 242 pages in this book of pure Practice Pad bliss. So make sure you go and check it out. Jump on the website, I can send you a copy or there's an e-version now available. So I'm working from page 77 here and we're looking at accenting different parts of the triplet subdivision. So the first one I'm dealing with is accenting the first note of the triplet. Okay, so that's sort of that sound. Now, it's all based off the four stick motions again. If you're unfamiliar with those, make sure you go and check out the previous videos. Now, if you're going to accent the first note of a triplet, you'd use this sticking pattern, or this motions pattern, if you like. So it's going to be a down, and then we're going to go for an up, and then a tap. Down, up, tap. Down, up, tap. Now, the whole purpose of these motions is to prepare for the accents. So that down stroke is obviously an accent because it's coming from a high position. And the up stroke is preparing the opposite hand for the next accent. So I'm just playing down, yeah, down, up, tap, down, up, tap. And we're accenting the first note of the triplet. So if I was gonna practice that, I put a metronome on. So I've set a metronome here for 90 beats a minute. And I'm just gonna play the down, up, tap, stick motions with the metronome on playing triplets. So now let's accent the middle part of the triplet. So that's the second note of the triplet subdivision. Okay, so if we're looking at what our stick motions are doing, it's gonna be a tap, down, up. 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 So it's the same thing essentially, but just displaced. So I'll put a metronome on, and you'll hear how the accent sort of is bouncing off the metronome. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a four. Yeah, that's a good one. At that middle note of the triplet can be a bit of a mystery for some. So again, it should make sense hopefully with the sticking motions because now it's the same set of sticking motions but just rearranged. All right, let's look at the next one, which is accenting the third or the last note of the triplet. Now, again, it's the same sticking motions, but just rearranged. The sticking motions will be an up, tap, down. Okay, so that's the new order of those, of those motions. Yep, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down. One, and R, two, and R, three, and R, four, and R. With the metronome on. One, two, here we go. One, two, so a good way to practice some of these is to put them together in succession. So I'll just show you, I'll play one bar of four, four of each and move through to the next one. So if I'm doing the first one, it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a four three and a four and a one. Now you'll see that the last one finishes with an accent and the first one starts with an accent. So you get that double hit up on the tom there, which is a cool way of returning it back to the start. Let's try that at 100 beats per minute. Two, three, four, one. Okay, 150. Let's try 170. These are cool because you're taking that one concept, which is essentially a down, up, tap, down, up, tap, displacing that or moving that throughout the triplet 
and being able to play it in different parts of the bar. So having that sort of displacement mentality with one idea just gets you more mileage and gets your brain sort of thinking about how you can play these, these sort of patterns, if you like, within different parts of the bar. Okay, so that's, that's the start of maybe some more practice pad exercises that I'll show you like this. Way more information in the book. Go check it out. Thanks for listening. See you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.